Right, so the second one uses three folds. So in this one, I have got my A3 sheet of paper again, and I've got one, two, three folds. And in this example, we're gonna learn to make knife pleats. So knife pleats are basic folds that are going in one direction. So I've got a sheet of paper here and what we're going to do is we're just going to have a play at making a basic knife pleat fold. So I'm going to turn it landscape view and what I'm going to do is I folded it about the third of the way in and then I folded it back on itself. That's me creating a Z type fold, which gives you three columns on your paper. So I've got one, two, three columns. So to create, to make this into a knife pleat, what we want is all the, is all the folds going in one direction. So I have folded my sheet of paper back on itself and I'm gonna basically Create a small version of a Z fold, which is there, we can see that. And then I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to measure three centimetres, which is there, because I want to have three centimetres distance in between, so that's the distance here. I want to have three centimetres distance in between where my next fold begins. So I'm going to fold the sheet of paper again on itself. And then make my little secret hidden fold. And there we have our first knife pleats. So knife pleats are folds that go in the same direction. So at the moment we've got a, lot, a large piece of paper. We need to make it smaller and easier to work with. So I'm just going to create myself. You can use your scissors and cut along. So I'm going to take that section away and we're going to deal with that later. So at the moment with here we've got our front body as normal. And I've got a pair of scissors here. And I'm going to make an opening for our little mannequin to be able to wear this. So there's my opening. So if we go back to our original uh, paper maquette, you can see that this, this one has got a series of knife, knife pleats, but they're facing inwards. So we're gonna to need to create a series of pleats here. So I'm gonna use my ruler this time to help me out. I'm gonna measure two centimeters and draw a line, two centimeters again and draw a line, two centimeters again and draw a line. So now we're going to create our knife pleat. So I've created my first pleat, but I need a gap for my second pleat. And I know that this is going to be the front neck band here. This is where the neck band's going to be. So that means that this particular fold is going to be very small. It's going to be about half a centimeter to make sure I've got enough room to fit my pleats in. So that's my first side done. And I've still got my two pleats and I've also got my neck band here. So let's do the other side. I've made lots of horizontal lines and the same thing I need to do is all my lines I need to make folds. I'm going to turn it face, way, face down. I 
And now I'm going to create my pleats. So if you remember the, the exercise that we did, we started folding. We made our first fold and we need to leave a gap and then start on our second fold. So we've got our, fold, our knife pleat folds here. We're going to turn it, so this is the wrong side now. And we're going to start with our next piece now. So if we have a look, a little reminder, this is our paper maquette. Um, a little reminder on what we need to add so we can add some sleeves to this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this into four rectangles And if we turn it round, let's turn it round and have it the right way. It's now starting to look like a sleeve. And just as another reminder, we've got a couple of little pleats here that we can create. So that's our second kimono.